keep it secret, it's a different bills. Hey, don't go dim it, you need it, I got it listed, yeah. You wanna make it, I'll show you just how to make it, yeah. I got all the rarest bills, and I ain't done, yeah. I'm from the finish to making bills like a prospect. Flow space and slashes to catching us with a lot threat. You keep the medals, cause the real ones coming up next. Only scratch the surface, still they try to drag my name in dirt, they try to bring me down. See me win, you ain't like me. Yo, what's good, my nephews and nieces? This is your favorite uncle, Uncle Demi, and today I have another special banger for you, all right? Today we're gonna talk about how you can make a 610 high flyer build, but before we get into the video, make sure you drop a like and subscribe, as like another video, push the video to the recommended, and of course, subscribe and put you a noted game for my daily upload. So without further ado, let's hop straight into the video. Um, so again, we're gonna go left-handed with this, um, but you can go right if you want, doesn't change the name of the build. Um, again, we're gonna go 610 with this build, we're gonna go to 244 pounds and we're gonna get our wingspan and we're gonna go ahead and max it all the way out, all right? Max out that wingspan all the way out. And then what we're gonna do here is this, of course, as you know, we're gonna start down to the physicals. So we're gonna go 70 on that speed. I'm always trying to go at least 70 on the speed just because I know speed is also associated with your lateral quickness, associate with your stop and go. So it's just very important, all right? Um, accelerations with the ball in your hand, but you also need it to be able to get Big Driver Hall of Fame. So we're going there with 60. We're going 92 on the strength, of course, so we can get Bulldozer on gold, Brick Wall on gold, and Immovable Enforcer on gold also. Then we're going to go 82 on the Vert, all right? So 82 Vert will give you all the elite contact dunk animation, so that's very important. And then we're going to go 94 on the Stamina, all right? So that's what we're looking at there. 70, 60, 92, 82, and then 94, right? So now let's start off with the close shots, right? So with the close shots, what we're going to do is we're going 60 on a close shot. Um, that's just really just to get masher, right? Then we're going to go 88 on the driving layup. 88 driving layup gives you Giannis's layup package. It is an extremely good layup package. If you're 610 and above, I know a lot of you won't be able to get it. So if you can't get, get 88, go 78, but we're making a high flyer. We're trying to make a build similar to Giannis. And um, yeah, we're going 88, okay, to get that Giannis layup package. Then, of course, we're going to go 94, all right? 94 on the driving dunk. So 93 will give you all the elite contact dunks. 94 will give you Slithery Hall of Fame, and that's very important, all right? Then we're going to go 81 on the standing dunk. As you can see there, it gives you rise up on silver. So that's very important to be able to get those pro big man contact dunks. Then we're going to go 85. Now, the reason why we're going 85, yes, the post control is great. But it's really to get this unpluckable on silver. But since you do have an 85 post control, yes, it does make sense to, you know, when you get opportunity to go on that post and be able to cook up, all right? Then we're going to go 71, all right? So 70 on the mid range, but you see by going 71, you will get your post phenom and you will get your guard up on silver. So just by going up one little attribute, it's very important there. It's very big, all right? Then we're going to max out our um, three point shot. So by getting that 76, again, as you see, You'll get corner specialist and you will get agent three on silver and bronze respectfully then we're going to go 71 on the free throw of course because we want to get the free points on silver i mean on bronze and this is going to be for all my rec um players right so like you play the rec you're going to want to definitely want to try to get that all right then we're going to do this we're going 60 on the pass accuracy we're not going too high on that pass accuracy um at the end of the day like i say this is a, a, a iso build but you're not going to be icing up a lot because if you go if you got a lockdown on you you're most likely going to have to try to work in the post okay um, then we're going to get our ball handle. We're getting that to, to 75. Of course, by going 75 on the ball handle, give you all the pro dribble animations. And then we got to go 65 on the speed with ball, and that's going to give you big driver. So, again, if you take a look at this, you see your handles for days is on bronze, okay? You don't have anything crazy with the 75, so you have to understand that when you're in the paint, you want to face up in a triple threat and try to work your way to the basket. Dribbling all out on the perimeter is all great. You do have silver unpluckable, but at the end of the day, your best bet is to get the ball into the three-point line. If you want to do a step back to the three, that's one thing, but you really want to try to work your way angle-wise to get to the basket, right? That's just really what this build is. My high flyer build, it's the same exact thing. Got the, my 6'8 Zion high flyer build, same thing. Like, I'm able to dribble on the perimeter, but the difference is between this one and that one is that I have an 80 ball handle with a 6'8. This right here is 75, right? Um... Now, the defensively, we want to go 61 on interior defense. That is going to be able to get bronze on anchor. So we want to be able to get that. And then we're going to go 71 on perimeter defense. And that's going to give us our challenger on bronze. We are not able to get clamps because we're over 6'9". So keep that in mind. You cannot get clamps because you're over 6'9". 
we're gonna skip the steal and then we're gonna go 78 on the block now 70 on the block will give you silver chase down again as you see you get the anchor so again like i said 61 will give you anchor and that's because it's associated with the interior defense and the block combination so that's the reason why we're going 61 with 78 all right then we're gonna go 70 on our offensive rebound all right and the reason why we go 70 on the offensive rebound is because in my humble opinion right what i have myself where i'm in position a lot is i'm always doing stuff around the basket and i just want to get the ability to get the offensive rebound back up defensive rebound i put on the 60 and i'm perfectly comfortable with that but at the end of the day this is what we're looking at we're looking at a 6'10, 244 pound specimen with a max wingspan and again as you see you get bulldozer on gold fearless finisher on gold right you get um back down punisher on gold brick wall on gold physical handles on gold immovable enforcer on gold right again we talked about the chase down you also will be able to get handles for days on bronze um and then the big ones here again like i say we look at the finishing the finishing what is going to give you with a 94 driving dunk slithery hall of fame area wizard on gold bunnies on hall of fame two-step hall of fame spin cycle hall of fame and then we come up here you see you get giant slayer hall of fame flow game hall of fame you get scooper hall of fame and of course pro touch hall of fame if you're able to do layups i mean um layups without the meter on that's great but you want to have layup timing on to utilize this pro touch it's very very powerful okay um you have a 68 close shot and i'm going to show you how we can move things around to be able to get a different version of this build so again i just want to show you real quick that you do get the high flyer build right really really good with the high flyer okay and again like i said this is one of the builds that is going to be very fun you should be able to dominate with this build all right and another thing that i want to point out is that if right and this is a big if like you know at the end of the day it's all about how do you want to play okay you could go 65 with your speed just by dropping 65 a couple things you can do all right you see here it is 88 not the 80 i'm sorry you see how you go from um that 68 to 71 and how you get your post hooks on silver we just all know baluba just said hey you know post hooks are now been buffed so now like that's going to be very important so you'll be able to have that ability to be able to do those post hooks okay um and then you see out there silver so all you need is a 71 from that 68 all right that gives you that another thing to take in consideration is that you can move up there and you can get your mini position all right just by dropping speed a little bit now your mini position is on silver so again you see how i get the one little points and be able to utilize those one little bit of points and be able to get something else out of it so that's something to keep in mind just by dropping to 60 from 68 getting your speed down to that that's if you want to plan on using post hooks right there's that's just a little tidbit how like every just certain little things you can change around to be able to get that heck you can also go 65 and then you come up to standing dunk and then check this out by going 83 you see how you get fast switch now right so i'm just showing you little things that you can do 83 and then all of a sudden they get 69 so you can't even change all that but see i've been always been messing around tinkering with this trying to figure out the best bet maybe you don't want if you don't do the the, the layup package then you can drop the 87 and that will give you 71 and 83 you see that then you can be able to get the um uh, post hook on silver like we spoke about and now you get your fast switch on silver right so again there's there's multiple ways you can play around with the finishing just get one little thing here one little thing there right there's no right or wrong answer at the end of the day i just wanted to have the 70 speed and i knew the way that my play style was that i'm pretty much was better off just going the route that i went with this route because i don't see myself doing a lot of post hooks but i do see myself maybe potentially doing post fades and and all the other type of stuff so at the end of the day that's what i was comfortable with um but you know there's no right or wrong answers okay but anyway let me know in the comment section what you think this is the high flyer build i made the zion version this is the version you'll see me in the park this will be more of my anthony davis um Giannis type builds even you know what i mean even even um banchero we can go a walk with banchero type build hell even aaron gordon type build so there's different ways you can make with this build because it's so versatile but let me know in the comment section what you think about the build and other than that it's your favorite old head uncle jimmy i'll be back really really soon with the banger man you know when i say back soon with the banger you know exactly what i'm talking about i'm talking about tomorrow man i'm out